Hello, this is Lloyd from the Airgun Lab again. We're going to be trying to take another high velocity shot. Uh, .278 caliber, uh, 46 inch long barrel, about 4500 PSI of air. Doing it a little bit differently this time. Uh, one thing is we have about a spacing of about three and a half feet between the muzzle of the barrel and the chronograph. And then between the chronograph and the backstop, we have about two feet. Don't have anything loose or flapping around. Uh, nothing to raise concerns in that, uh, about that. Also, I have uh, got a temperature probe. I'm going to take and hook it up to the breech block. So we can look at the fill temperature. Uh, I don't have a pressure gauge on here because the gauge that I had on there only went up to about 4,000 PSI and I want to fill it higher than that. Also I've got Marauder rifle here which I am going to shoot across the chronograph also. Uh, so we have a little bit of a reference. It's uh, just so we can have another velocity to look at. I'm going to go ahead and get this set up again. Uh, one thing we have to do is weigh the pellet. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and turn the scale on. Special aluminum pellet with an O-ring made of 7075 aluminum. We'll go ahead and weigh it. Okay, 5.6 grains. So fairly light. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the barrel. Has to be loaded in at exactly the right point for the uh, clamping to work. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down as I do this. Need to make sure that the O-ring gets up inside the barrel, but that the cone the grip with stays outside. Touchy to do. It is just a test setup. Should do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the breech block on. Okay, put the locking pin in. like it's working okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this in position. It's all braced up. We're going to fire. Get the scale out of the way. Go ahead and uh, hook the temperature probe up.
just going to tape it to the breech block. It's fairly sensitive. You can see it went up. It's coming back down now just for my fingers pressing on it. So it's coming back down to room temperature, which is about 73 or so. Response time is fairly good. Anyway, let's get this going again. Okay, so I've got this set up. I'm going to go ahead and lock it in place. Got my return springs here. If you saw the other video, you see this is kind of a clunky rig, but it does work. I'm working on a better version, a little more sophisticated than this. Is actually ready to fire now. Go ahead and uh, charge it up in just a minute too. And I'm just going to put a little bit of air in it just to make sure we're in good shape. Got two tanks over here. One to take and bring it close to pressure and then one just to top it off. You have to blip it a little bit to make sure everything's locked. Okay, that's just a couple hundred PSI. Okay, I'm going to look back here at the temperature probe. Okay, 75.9 right now. Like I said, it's only got a couple hundred PSI in it. Okay, got this set up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this Marauder and shoot it across the chronograph. I'm going to be shooting kind of an odd angle. It's a 22, just 14 and a half grain pellet. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully I'll get this across there without hitting anything that I'm not supposed to. Oh, missed it. Try it again. There we go, 815. That's about right for this gun. So we know we're in the ballpark. Okay, temperature still it's set no. Kind of going with room temperature right now. 75.9. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some pressure in here. I'll read it out and then we'll be able to take a look at it. thousand right now. Increasing fifteen hundred. And we're at two thousand. Tell you what, I'm just gonna move this camera so they can take and see that. I'm not very good with the camera, so you just have to bear with me on this. Okay. Let's keep going. It's 
2500. Three thousand. Okay, there's thirty five hundred. That's all in that first tank. I've got them kind of cascaded together. Go ahead and I'm going to put some hearing protection on just to make sure that. Uh, in case that thing, as I call, self-releases, self-launches, in case it does anything. We're going to look at the temperature also here. All right, so the temperature is at 78.2. So it's really just gone up a couple degrees. A couple degrees Fahrenheit is all. And uh, here's a probe taped to the side of it right there, that blue part. Camera back here. Okay, I'm gonna get my hearing protection. Okay, so I'm gonna continue filling with this tank. Heading up to 4,000. Four. And just about 4,500. Okay. Got a check valve in the uh, fill nipple on the gun. So I'm just going to go ahead and bleed this. Okay, disconnect. There we go. All right, let's look at the temperature again. Okay, 79. We're somewhere around 73 when we started. So we are at uh, or a little over 73, I think. So 79 degrees. See, it's kind of hovering right around there. Very little heat gain from the fill process. All right, let's get this aimed back where we want it to be. Okay, I'm sighting down the barrel from here, and looks like we should be in good shape. So, let's see what happens. Okay, 2,035. That's pretty fast. Isn't as fast as I would have liked. It's still pretty fast. So that's it for this shot. I just turned this back on. I turned it off about 30 seconds ago after the shot because uh, I did want to show the temperature probe, so it has just been, you know, like about 30 seconds, and uh, 78.3, so it was up to 79, so no, no major changes there. So anyway, that's it. That's Lloyd from the Air.